Bonjour. Today we've come to La Chiquette. Now La Chiquette is a French bakery in West Didsbury. Stephen's told us to come here, or Stéphane, he's French, he's probably Stéphane. He tells us that even if this bakery was in France, it would still be one of the best. He says it's an absolute treat to have a boulangerie and patisserie like this here in Manchester. So, time to dust off the GCSE French. Bonjour, François, et je me permets. Enchanté, je m'appelle François. Qu'est-ce que je peux faire pour vous aujourd'hui? Uh, can we do a bit of English now? Yeah, sure. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm all good, thank you. And you? Yeah, wonderful. Great being in here. As soon as you walk in that door, Oh, thank you very much. Hits you, thank man. you so much. It's amazing. So, how long have you guys been open for? We've been open for three years now. I hear a lot of good things about this. Place. Yeah, we have. To be fair, we have a lot of good loyal customers and a lot of French customers as well. Yes, actually, quite a lot of French people. Yeah. Are you, are you French? I am French indeed. Yeah. How long have you been in Manchester? Uh, five years. And do you like it? It's great. Yeah, I love it. You have to say that because we've got Manchester's finest pointing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've got. Baguettes, obviously, croissants, yes. yep. there's sausage rolls. What's your favourites here? Uh, my favourite would probably be the pain au chocolat, so chocolate croissant. I love a pain au chocolat, oh, François. That's really good, yeah. How about you try for yourself and go in the back to make the croissant? I can make some croissants? Yeah, of course. You sure that's a good idea? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because they might end up being a bit nerd. <laughs> that's <laughs> shit, by the way. It is, friends. yeah. <laughs> Come on, let us go backstage. Yeah. Thanks, man. Help me, lads, help me, I can't. <laughs> Flo. Hello. Hello. I've not just invaded, by the way, I've been told I can come back here. Welcome. And maybe see how the croissants are made? Yeah, let's go, let's do it. Okay. So, I'm just gonna introduce the butter into the dough. Oh, wow. So, what's this doing? So, that's basically like a big pasta machine. So, it's just gonna go, get the dough steamer with this handle, so that's the the millimeter, that's what we're going to do now. I can't actually see what it's doing. Is it flattening it? Yeah, it's flattening it. Yeah. Wow, so it's now good. I see. It's yeah. much bigger. That's a lot of butter flow. Yeah, quarter of a recipe. And all the ingredients you use are French ingredients? Yeah. So French, French flour? French flour, yeah. French butter? French butter. That's about it, really, isn't it? Yeah. And fresh, French stuff. French <laughs> stuff. Stuff, of course, yeah. the most important. We work 24 hour shifts, so we've got. Uh, 24 got, hour shifts? Yeah, 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 so we've got a maker starting at 1 o'clock. Uh, so he's gonna get this door ready because this door's got to rest in the fridge. Yeah. And, and after that, it's just like a circle. Uh, I'm coming now to get the, 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 the butter into it. And I've got another baker coming in about two hours to just to shape all the croissant. Wow. So yeah, it takes military time. operation. It takes, it takes time to make the croissant. Okay, so that's that's ready now. If we do this. Oh wow, that's so You can see all the layers of the croissant. So that's that's got to rest for two hours. Yeah. It's got to get it really, really cold. Really, really cold. If not the croissant is just gonna stretch stretch back. So we've got a couple of hours in the freezer. Like we famously have in English television, we do have some that we've made earlier, and some croissants in there. Right. Oven, I think we can take out. Yeah, yeah, and have course, a taste. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so that. do a little time lapse thing here on the editing lapse. So, we're ready. Look at the layers, man. Look at those. That's a skill, that flow. That's an it absolute... is the, the way it should be, yeah. So can I can I taste? Yeah, of course, yeah, try it. So this one is a proper croissant, full of butter, as you've seen it before. I've seen how much butter. Yeah, yeah, so some of the company or supermarket, they might use margarine or... Margarine? That's, that's the no. No, um, man. That's the way we do it in France. I can't stop eating yeah. this, have you noticed? <laughs> just enjoy more, it. More, just, more, Just enjoy it. I will just yeah. enjoy it. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Katrina, I've just had some of your croissants and we're going to move on to the sweet stuff in a minute, but I've just spotted these sausage rolls. I think it would be remiss of me not to try them. Can you see this, Joel? Check that bad boy out. So, 
You make all of these in-house, yep. like you do made. everything. Yep. Our sausage roll mix is made with our leftover sourdough at the end of the day. Is that? Yeah. So you can probably taste like the toastiness maybe of the, the breadcrumbs. Mmm, <laughs> that's unbelievable. Yeah. Talk me through these flavours. What else is going on in here? So we've got sage and onion mixed with um, the pork. So we caramelise our onion, mix it with uh, some fresh sage. Let me tell you, if you like your sausage rolls, get down here, man. These are unbelievable. It's a good big chunky sausage roll as well. Hearty. Like a hearty one, yeah. Hearty fare, let's say that. <laughs> hearty fare. <laughs> So how did all this come about there? Because, I mean, where are you from? I'm originally from, I'm just from Manchester. Um, so... Nothing wrong with that, you said that apologetically. <laughs> that's all right. Because I'm with a French man, probably, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> but so how, how did you two, well, how did you two meet and how did you come to own this fabulous place? So we met at a completely different job um, at another uh, bakery. Um, but it was always our passion just to do something together like this. You were both um, really into food both, before. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, obviously because he's French as well, it's a perfect combination. So we decided in 2020 to open a bakery. That's when all the stuff was going down with Covid, the isn't height it? Of, uh, yeah, COVID. the height of Covid. height of Covid. height of Covid. We thought, why not? Yeah. Uh, we weren't doing anything else, so <laughs> yeah. give it a go. Didn't have much on. <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, we all actually just kicked off from 2020. It's been absolutely mental. It was an instant success, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. We were really surprised. Like very appreciative of the quantity of support we got from customers straight away. Always queues, always queues going always on around the block. Still to this day, we still queues. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, we're lucky. We've come here at what we thought was going to be a quiet time yeah. on a late Tuesday <laughs> afternoon, but even now it's still busy, isn't yeah. it? Um, right, let's get involved with this. What am I about to eat? So this is a mango passion fruit and coconut tart. Oh, it's very summery. Get your taste buds going because it's got the acidity of passion fruit. It's going to be very uncouth this, I'm just going to go, go in, is that alright? <laughs> I've got it around my mouth though. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about this just while I sort myself out? And yeah, of course. So the tart cases we make, literally everything on site, all handmade. Um, the base is a coconut, it's called congole actually in French, so it's like a coconut base. And then we've got a passion fruit insert and a mango mousse. It reminds me a little bit, I don't know whether you'll go mental when I say this, but <laughs> like of a Solero. It's very true. Oh, is it very One true? One of my favourites, Solero, yeah. Good, I thought you might tell me <laughs> off for that. No, no. But yeah, it's absolutely delicious. You're going to have to stop filming for a minute because I'm going to eat all of this <laughs> and it's going to be messy. I feel a little bit sad because this is the last thing I'm going to eat before I go home. <laughs> I honestly don't want to leave. <laughs> um, this place is award winning as well, isn't it? Yes, we won the England Business Awards last year, uh, nationally. For what? The best? Best bakery in the UK. In the UK? Yeah, best bakery in the UK. How about that? And the <laughs> suggestion that we had that told us to come down here said that even if this place was in France, it would still be the best bakery. Yeah, we've had a lot of customers come in saying, oh, I'm French, but I never tried a croissant like yours. So you that's, can't get better than that. You really. can't, that's the <laughs> ultimate compliment, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really. it is. It's unbelievable. What? Ferrero Rocher vibes I'm getting it, off this. It is, yeah. So we make our own praline as well. Um, vanilla mousse. And then we dip it in um, some hazelnut chocolate. So. Thank you for letting us come down. Thank you for taking time as well because I know how busy you are. No, no problem. And I would it's a pleasure. Have, anyone that's watching this now, they need to come down and try, <laughs> try a bit of everything. Don't just come down for one croissant. Try yeah, a bit of everything. everything. Yeah. Listen, thank you very much. You're Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Do you know what? I feel like I've just been in France. Probably because it was a French bakery and there's lots of French people talking French. And there he is, French Flo. Au revoir, French Flo. He's going to be grafting for hours yet. It's got loads to do. Oh, and by the way, I've just had a little tip. Usually, if you buy a pan of chocolat from anywhere in the world, it's standard. They put two sticks of chocolate. This place, three. Un, deux, trois, chocolat. <laughs> That's an advert. You can use that. Listen, if you've got somewhere you want us to visit, let us know. Leave a little message. Au revoir, mon ami, mon ami. 